guys oh, welcome back to the channel today we are doing harry potter unboxing and where did i go well this one's kind of a combination of two places the first one is going to be mahu dokoro and then the harry potter cafe shop but basically those items are also sold here so that is kind of why i've combined them so this is first of all just a little cute little promo paper got all this information on the back of it nothing fancy so let's just jump into it because this is going to be a very very big haul i think this is my biggest haul maybe i don't know you guys be the judge so sit back and relax and we're gonna do some harry potter unboxings so what did i get well i got these dark mark earrings and i actually have a little story to tell you about these so when i put these in the bag and i brought them up to the cash register the lady was like trying to talk to me but not doing the very best, but I could clearly understand that she was asking me if my ears were pierced. And I was like, yes, I have pierced ears. And she's like, oh, wait. And she took these and she grabbed, went back and she grabbed another one and picked them up. So what had happened was I had picked the clipped ones, which are no piercings. You just clip them on. Because in Japan, a lot of women and men ha use clippings instead of piercings. So I had accidentally picked up the clipped ones. And if that had happened in America, nobody would have checked. Not a single cashier would be like, oh, let me go swap that out for you. But in Japan, they do. So this nice lady, she swapped this out for me. And so here we have the beautiful dark mark earrings. They were $25. I don't know what they're made out of, though. I'm going to be honest. So the back of this has the copyright information. And it's just a normal piercing thing. So I'm going to go and disinfect these with rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to put them on. Okay, so I put them on. And they're cute. I like them. They feel a little bit heavy, but I'm just not used to them. And that's okay. All right. The next thing I got was socks. <laughs> and not just any socks, guys. I got the Weasley Twin socks. So one sock is orange and one sock is purple. And what's really nice is that they're embroidered, which I really like. That's cute. Got these socks. And then I also got the... Gryffindor socks, and again, the line is embroidered. And if you're wondering how much these socks were, these socks, the Gryffindor socks were $12.55, and these socks, well, I can't tell you to find out how much they were. Now, this is a Kowalski drawstring pattern bag. It features all the bakery goods from the Fantastic Beasts, so Niffler, Botruckle, etc., etc., and this one was worth $8.86. And on the other side, it just says Kowalski bag. So it's just a normal bag. Like I said in Japan in previous videos, they really love their pouches. And instead of in America, we all like pockets and things. They like one big bag with a bunch of little pouches inside of them. They really love that. My thought is that I love the idea, except I feel like that's added weight because you're adding weight to the pouch and stuff. There you go. Super cute, super cute. And it's like a nice linen material. At least I think it's linen. I don't know, I can't read Japanese, but I just, I really, really, really love the bakery stuff. Love it. Okie dokie, so at checkout, uh, you could get a Weasley lottery. So here is the Weasley lottery and there's stickers inside of it. And the Weasley lottery, $3.36. So I don't know what's inside of this. But we're gonna find out together. Now, it's supposed to be some sort of stickers and things. I'm not really sure. Okie dokies. That's it? A sticker? Really? Yep. So in this bag, it's just a cardboard piece in here so it doesn't bend. But this is the sticker that you get. I mean, it's a nice sticker because it's actually glittery, right? Weasley and Weasley. Really nice sticker. A bit of a letdown, honestly. $3.36. <laughs> the packaging's nice. That'll be nice in my cabinet. But anyway, moving on. Speaking of Weasleys and my cabinet, look at this massive key ring. Look at it. It's amazing. And you got the extendable ear with it, too. So this cost me $18.46. So cute. All right. So next up on the list was homemade Hyduke's confectionery. How cute this packaging is. Isn't that lovely? So this little thing cost me $15.50, and the real reason I bought it was for the packaging. 
Because you can also use this pouch later on. It's a cute little drawstring bag. Oh, what is this? Interesting. Look at these big lemon candies. Wow. Very nice. Let's open one up and try it out, shall we? Good that I still have a cold so I can test it. But yeah, see, look at that. You got this cute little pouch now that you can use for whatever you want. And let us try this. Look at that. They are individually sealed inside of there, too. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh. Well, it's lemon, all right. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh. Anyway. They also gave me free stickers. So they gave me a free Dobby. Exceptional ordinary sticker. Not for sale. Oh, at the Harry Potter Cafe, I did get to keep the coaster. That's cool. Whilst I still work on this lemon candy, allow me to introduce to you one of my favorite things that I got. Do you guys know how much I love pumpkins? I think they're the cutest things ever. Look at this. Pumpkin mug. But the top... ...has a lid. How cute is that? Look at that. Look how beautiful the colors are. So this is actually made by Sunart. And Sunart, you can find some of their things on Amazon Japan. But the shipping is a pain in the butt sometimes. So this one cost me $26.58. And like I said, it's made by Sunart. There is the information on the box. Oh wait, not made by Sunart. It's made by Benelik. I thought it was Sunart. Yes, not. So when you're at the cafe, which is like next to Mahoro de Coral and not the actual Harry Potter cafe where you sit and dine. This is like a little bakery pastry that you walk in, you order a couple donuts and stuff, or a drink, non-alcoholic, and then you you can buy some merch and then you leave. There's no place for you to sit. <laughs> in order to buy some merch, you had to get something to eat or drink. So Lethal Lightning really wanted this, which is just a Ravenclaw bottle, but it was full of lemonade. And it's Ravenclaw because he is a Ravenclaw. And we can do the tasting right now. I am going to be drinking a Ravenclaw lemon drink because this one with the camera was in the, the Harry Potter cafe. And rightfully so, they don't actually just sell stuff to people unless you buy food or drink because People like her are gonna come in and just clear out the shop without actually buying the product. I buy the product. Yeah, this. I have to drink this so you can buy the stuff. You're right, welcome. Anyway. Good luck. Ravenclaw. It's lemonade. It's blue lemonade. It's blue lemonade. Is it refreshing at least? Like, does it taste good or is it like commercial? No, no. See, that's the thing. Like. You can just tell how much preservatives are in Western culture. Mm-hmm. It's lemonade. It's decent lemonade. And there you go. There you have it. Oh, and I got a little flag. Yeah, a little keychain that comes with it. All right, that was Lethal Lightning testing the Ravenclaw drink from the cafe here in Akasaka. Am I free to go now? Yeah. Now, if you're curious, that Ravenclaw drink was $13.29 USD. I also got this really, really cute ornament. So check out this beautiful flying key ornament. Isn't that pretty? That's better than anything Hallmark makes right now. It's very light and delicate. And this ornament was $16.24. Okie dokies, moving right along. I got like this placemat of the Weasley's Wizard Wheezies. And it was 2,200 yen. Oh. This flapper on it. Okay. Flapper. I don't know what that means besides the Roaring Twenties. Anyway, so it's presented like this. Here it is. There is like a little placemat that you can eat. A little sign, poster thing. Isn't that nice? Pretty. Man, this is candy. Super lemony. All right, the next thing I bought was 
A Gryffindor rugby shirt, and it cost me $59. But the quality was so nice that I was like, well, I have to do it. How nice that is. Very heavy and very comfortable. Um, and it was basically like a one size unisex thing. So, yeah, it's like an oversized one for me. But it's so nice and heavy. Great material, so why not? All right, I also bought this really cool shirt that seems to glow in the dark. I'm even happier about that. It says most mother on it. So it's pretty simple in the front, but the sleeves are super cool. And they have a dark mark running down the arms. See that? Pretty cool. And that one was $51.67. Pretty expensive, but again, the quality is super nice. They just don't make it like they do here. Right, so this was one of the items I actually bought in the cafe, like the Harry Potter cafe. And this is a Honeydukes plate. Now, what I really liked about what they do in Japan in these cafe and the Mahoro was that they opened everything up that was fragile and had you inspect it before closing it for my packaging up. Here it is. Isn't that beautiful? Super light, super delicate. Just very classy plate. And it's got all the Honeydukes sweets on. Chocolate frogs, birdie bots name it so this was really nicely wrapped up in this plain box and this honey duke's plate was 22 bucks okay moving right along i actually got quite a few spoons because they were so dainty and pretty so they're just golden spoons but they each have a theme so one of them is birdie bots like honey dukes another one is the happy birthday harry and the other one's hogwarts so one of them was five dollars and 37 cents the other one, two, were $5.91 each. Here you go. Which one do you like best? Let me know in the comments below. And like I said, they're just gold. And here's the label on the back. It each says which ones they are. Honey Dukes. Or nothing to that one. Or Happy Birthday Harry. So the Hogwarts one doesn't have a name. So check this out. Now, I'm not really sure what kind of bag they call this. But this has the Kowalski baguette on it, in the shape of a wand. But look at this, it snaps shut. So it's a really nice little pouch. And the inside is nice orange colored to match everything else. Of course, you got your little niffler on the top of it. But yeah, they go crazy for their breads. Okay, and the next item that I bought, which by the way, that item, was $11, that little pouch. But look how cute this is. This is like a baby tote for a baby Niffler with a little baguette. On the other side, Kowalski. Oh, this is really cute. So inside it's like a tote, right? But there's actually a little pocket inside of it. Or maybe like your phone, you just put your phone right there. And here's the inside of it, see? Kowalski, quality baked goods. That's cute. I really like this. Like, the material is really nice. To me, it's like a cotton or some type of linen. So I really like that. And this mini tote was $14. Imagine that. Such beautiful quality. $14. Bucks. Unheard of in 2024 in America. The next thing I got, and these seem to be called Cameo. I don't know why. Or Cameo, maybe. Aren't these cute? Look at these keychains. They're like old-fashioned. They got crochet in pink and a niffler in yellow. Super cute. And these ones were 1,870 yen each. All right, I finally finished that candy. Anyway, they gave me this giant tote. Actually, I bought it because I wanted the owl. A Maho Dokoro. Um, this cost me like $2.95, so yeah, I had to grab it. It comes with this cute little baggie, so it's like a little gift bag. I have to point this out, this is the bag from the cafe. Harry Potter Cafe. Malt for sale. And then here it is. Mascots. We got this guy. And I'm very excited for this. So this is like a Niffler clock. And you know how I love my Niffler. So this guy was kind of expensive. It was $63.49. There was a bow truckle statue. Apparently it was out of stock. Because I was like, since I'm here. Can't find these anywhere without breaking an arm and a leg. I'm going to do it anyway. Instructions are here, and look at that, beautifully tightened and styrofoam and everything. 
So they already have the clock here ready to go. This is amazing, guys. Look at the detail of this. Look at the coins. They are full of detail. Wow. So cute. Here's the bottom of it. It's nice so it doesn't scratch the bottom of your furniture. Or I should say your top of your furniture. Alright, let's put the clock in then. Oh, so there is like something stopping it from ticking, it looks like. A piece of rubber that you have to remove. You see that? And I'm wondering if I can just put it in without having to worry about it. But look at that. Even the face is like... Has some descriptions to it. Look at that. Moon Galleon. Let's see if I can just pop this in. Nope, I can't. I gotta remove the rubber. There's a little thing that stops it from ticking, I think, up there. See that? I'm wondering if I can still put this on. Okay, so now it's ticking. I just ticked it by releasing that thing, but I don't want to tick it. There you go. So I lift it back up because I don't want to use the battery up, right? Here's the problem, though. When you put the battery in, it just sits there loosely. So I'm wondering if I need to keep that rubber actually on it. Because otherwise it just doesn't sit properly. So this seems to be like a defect. Okay, well that's like the best it's gonna get, I think, for now. So what had happened was... If you look at it, you see how it's not even in place all the way? I have the rubber around it, but if you take the rubber off, it kind of wiggles around inside the little space for it. The little pocket where the face of the clock goes. But it's really, really cute. Like, this is perfect for my shelf. Very, very cute. Super cute. So there it is. That's the back of the box and everything. Her full picture. That's what it's supposed to look like. However, mine doesn't particularly look like that. So that kind of annoys me that it just doesn't sit in there properly. Okay, little update for you guys. Immediately after I shut off my PC, I got the clock in. No problem whatsoever. Look at that. So little piece of rubber that it came with needed to be on there again and you kind of just had to wiggle it a whole lot and that's really what i didn't do i was really afraid of breaking it right but at one point i was just like yeah and it popped right in no problem and even the instructions said use the rubber piece because you need it and don't throw it away so now that everything works i don't have it the clock working i have a little stopper on it to stop it because i don't i don't really want to click on me you know i'll pre preserve the battery as much as possible so, there it is. I'm super excited for this. This is going to go with my other Niffler on my magical creature shelf right behind me. Mm, okay, bye. Alright, so up next I have two series of mystery pins to unbox. And I bought two of one series and four of another series. So here's the first box. And you can get either a Time Turner, the Dark Mark, or the Hogwarts Crest. Uh, and it looks like it says like 10, um, maybe it's 10 years or something. Maybe it was meant for USJ. I don't know. So these are called emblem pins. And each one was 990 yen. So we're going to open them up. See what we get. Oh! Not only do you just get one of those three, you get a different one. So I actually got a Hufflepuff. Not the biggest fan of Hufflepuff, but it's a really nicely made pin. Just says WBEI -E on the back. Okay, not the biggest fan of Hufflepuff, but whatever. I get what I can get. And then in the next box, ooh, got the Ministry of Magic pin. Dude, if I had known that these were actually gonna be a part of it, I would have picked up more. I thought it was just three of these, like you could get any mini mini mo. I'm like, I don't really care all that much about those. Very nice, very nice indeed. Very heavy pin. So those are two of those. All right, so now the next box, which I don't even know. Maybe the 10 is, there's like 10 different versions of them because this also says 10. And this is the second series and I have four of these to try. And it says Philosopher's Stone on it. And these ones were 990 yen each also. So these are all to do with the Philosopher's Stone. All right, the first one we got, ooh, is the actual stone itself. Look at that. That's nice. Just the normal emblem on the back. Okay, okay. Very cool. Okay, and then the next one. No way! 
Fluffy! That's cool. That's cool. All right, so we got no mystery pins or duplicates so far, which is awesome. Like if this was Loungefly, I'd be getting the same ones over and over again because they don't actually shuffle their pins and they just give you the same ones in your order. All right, and the next one is, aw, happy birthday, Harry. Nice. All right, so we got those. Look at that, we are three for three right now. Too shabby. And the very last one, guys. I could. Oh, we got Hedwig. So I don't know how many of there are supposed to be in this series, but I got four for four, which is pretty good. I'm not sure how many they're supposed to be. Look at that. Well, that's cool. There you go. There is Hedwig. So I got six pins from this store, and every single one of them was a different pin. Think about that. All right, but we're not done yet because I even got other mystery boxes. So I got these magical creatures mystery boxes. And it looks like there's like seven of them in this series. Or no, collect all eight. Okay, so there's eight of them. So you can either get Dobby, who's on the front. You could get Fang, Scabbers, Crookshanks, or Pygmy Puff, which I'm assuming it's Arnold. And then you can get Buckbeak, Fox, or Hedwig. Now these were, these were 1,650 yen each, and I got two of these. Just to try, because I wasn't all that impressed. And I just really want Arnold. Oh, look how this is fancy inside. Like a puzzle. What did we get? Oh, we got Fox. Look how nice this is. And double wrap and everything. Okay, so everything is individually wrapped. There you have it. Alright, let's let's put them together, shall we? Okay, so he's like a very like plasticky plasticky. But actually, he's beautiful. Look at the detail on this thing. <laughs> Why is this better than Noble Collection? <laughs> Kinda wishing I had gotten more. Here is Fox. Isn't that beautiful? And he's really light, but made so nicely. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. All right, we'll put him there for a second. Now we have to try the other one. Because remember, I bought two of these. Give me my Arnold. That's what I want. Nope, I got Crocshanks. <laughs> you know what? She's still pretty cute anyway. Or he, I should say. Not my favorite, but still really nice nonetheless. Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer of these two, because I think Fox wins. Alright guys, but we're not done yet, because the Fantastic Beast series also has one. So I got five of these. And these cost, um, these cost 1,650 yen also. Now, who can we get in this series? Well, we can get either Niffler. Or these guys. Look at that. Two different types of nifflers. A baby and an adult. An Akami, a demiguys. Or shoot, was it Zwapper? Is that what it's called? The um Erumpe or a bow truckle. And then there's a mystery. A mis I don't know what the mystery one is gonna be. That's exciting. Alright. So it's a mystery. I got a bow truckle. Oh, he's really nice. Ooh la la. Alright. These are really nice. This reminds me of, um, my Pine One Studios one. But how do you put him in? Is his leg supposed to be that, like that? So I'm having trouble popping him in in place. So he doesn't want to stay in place, which is a shame, but I did get picky. I can't put him on the base because there's three holes. And it's got three legs to pop him in, but they just don't want to stay. And I don't want to force it because it's a really, really light plastic. But it actually is really nice, guys. Look at the detail. It's cool. Just unfortunately, I can't do it. Maybe I'll get it later. But I'm not gonna sit here for five hours and try my very best to do it. That ain't happening. Okay, let's try number two. All right, box number two. Another bow chuckle. Not even gonna bother. <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to open him up properly later and get him if sit on the base, right? Okay, that's all right. Shake it off. It's okay. Watch them all be bow chuckles. That'd be funny. What? <laughs> okay. 
Man, I should have gotten the other ones. I really want the Arnold. Bummer. Okay. Duplicate. So we are two duplicates out of three so far, and I got five of these. Not looking too good. Okay, we got a Niffler! And not just any Niffler, the baby! Okay. I will say, they're kind of hard to keep them placed. But there they are. Isn't that cute? A little Niffler with a little galleon or coin or whatever it is. Maybe it's an American coin. Yeah, that's an American. The quarter. But it's gold, so who knows. There he is. Isn't that like, what's his name? Pumpernickel or something? They all have P names. Like P letter names. The, the baby Nifflers. One's like pumpkin, one's like pumpernickel. Alright, so we did get one. Alright, and the very last one of the mystery. Will we get a bow truckle or will it be something else? Ah, it's in your wrong fit. Alright, cool, cool. Finishing strong. Hey, this is really cute. So we put on the base. Alright, so there he goes. They're really cute. Like, actually, proper cute. Not bad, not bad. It's only two duplicates. Of all of them. Not bad. And then the very final item is actually this tote bag that you could buy. And it says Gryffindor! And it's the sorting hat. And it's a nice, like, cotton or linen. And this bag was $5. Oh, that's a really nice bag. So there you go, house. There it is. There is the unboxing haul. It's really big. A lot of them, and it took me the most to record. I won't lie. But I blame the clock for that. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you liked anything, if you hated it, do you think it was overpriced? You name it, and let me know your thoughts below, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.